Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 22 career mode here today on the channel. We have the season finale of this Roma series, playing on FIFA's Realism mod. This is Season 1, Episode 8, and here today we're going to have the final match of the league season. We sit atop of the league on 89 points. We face Juventus, and here today we can claim the league title. We won the Coppa Italia in the last episode, and we've also made it all the way to the Europa Conference League final as well, which we've got to play here today. We're currently undefeated with 11 draws, and we're going to be able to claim the league title here today. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. But, before we're claimed champions, we have to get past Juventus here today. At home, at Rome, let's go. 16 minutes in, Juventus look better than us. Zachariah back to Morata, player we could have potentially signed. Paul Pogba at the club. Chiesa unfortunately starts off with scoring. Oh no! We uh, potentially could lose our invincible status if we're not careful. As Di Maria, Zachariah and Paul Pogba, the newly signed... Men celebrate crazily. Great goal there by Chiesa. A nice left foot drilled goal. And Hugo Lloris at full stretch. Couldn't get to it, which is a shame. Oh, no. We definitely need to get back into this one. As Federico Chiesa scores only his third goal in 37. That's a terrible goal scoring effort for him personally this season. Wow. First half, still down from that first goal, but Juventus might claim their second here. They look good on this counter-attack. Morata has Pogba in front of him. Finds Zachariah, who's joined the attack. He's probably been Juventus's best player, and it's somehow found its way into the back of the net. Paul Pogba is going to claim it, and 2-0. Um, this is our biggest deficit of the career series so far. Oh, my God. Lost possession there, Pogba. Juventus still on a tirade. Good tackle there by Selic, but it wasn't enough. Chiesa keeps going. Morata, Pogba, Juve. Make it 3-0. Would you believe it? How are we going to come back from this? After the entire season, winning the league, we could have gone invincible. We're going to lose. Only one goal this one game this season after drawing eleven. Oh no! Oh, Jose Mourinho could have called himself invincible. Fuck! Look at that. Chiesa doubles up, and it's not like we're away in Turin either. We're actually at home in Rome. Dude, every time we go forward, they just counter us. And Morata, one-on-one -on -one with Hugo Lloris, needs to make himself big. He can't. 4-0. Our biggest defeat of the career series. Unbelievable scenes. Juventus are humiliating Roma. Bro, I don't know what's going on. It's like we've switched off. Because we've won. Like, it didn't matter mathematically. But, jeez... Jose, you can see on the touchline, was fucking furious. We end the season on an incredibly sour note in Syria with a 4-0 drumming to Juventus. Federico Chiesa, man of the match. Player of the tournament has been announced. It's going to go to Edison Cavani. Hugo Lloris has won the goalkeeper award, while Rebic wins the golden boot. And, of course, we win the league mathemat mathematically. We've nailed the league title now. Roma won it. And we've made it all the way to the final of the conference league. We face Monaco. Juventus finish in second. But here we go. We've got an opportunity here to win a treble. Not the treble, because that would be the Champions League. But Jose won it in real life over Frankfurt. We face Monaco, which is arguably a harder team, I'd think. Here we go, boys. Monaco facing Roma. 18 minutes in. 
after being in incredibly bad form against Juventus. We need to start off the scoring here. First attempt at their back line. The attack was thwarted. Isco tries to stretch it. Cavani. Can he score? It's gone to Isco. Cavani getting closed down. Obviously. Former PSG player. Has scored against Monaco before. But this time around it was Isco to rise to the occasion. Getting up on the score sheet. 1-0. We take the lead. Really nice well worked goal. Monaco have a lot of top tier quality players. And they're going to want to go far in Ligue 1 this season. Isco scoring only his second goal in the Conference League this season as Roma take the lead in the Conference League. Come on, let's go. No, no, no. We don't want to turn this into the Juventus match. We are slipping slightly. Monaco holding position well for Fana. Goes all the way back. Bartra. Former Dortmund and Real Betis defender. He's been solid at the back in this match. Finds Kevin Voland, a career mode sweat, of course, and Boadu. And they get an equalizer. 86 minute. Monaco, not down and out for the count. Underrated team like us making the Conference League final. But what kind of blows my mind is that we never f face Spurs on the way. Antonio Conte Spurs, I don't know where they finish, but they never made the final or the semis from what I could see. Or we never faced them. Same with Frankfurt. It was Pauk and obviously in the semis and then Monaco in the final. And we've considered their 1-1. I would rather avoid going to a penalty shootout because it's just RNG. It's random. Who knows who can win a penalty shootout. We've won one before this season in the conference league, matter of fact. But I'd rather not do it again. We only narrowly got through on the semis against Pauk. But unfortunately, this match did go to extra time. And it will go to a penalty shootout more likely. Unless Monaco get the late winner here. Will they do it? No. Squandered. Penalty shootout again. Would you believe it? I did say earlier in the career series that more than likely <laughs> our conference league form is it, it is just shit compared to the league for whatever reason. Except for that massive loss to Juventus. Kevin Volland steps up, slots it in the top right. Massive opportunity here for Vertout. He misses. It's 1-0. Advantage to Monaco. Thankfully... They score for them. They nearly missed. Pellegrini converts. Boadu steps up. Misses. T. Abraham. Converts. 2-2. Two, two. Monaco. Convert. 3-2 now. Isco needs to score. And he does. We've scored three in a row. Monaco, again, convert 4-3. And Under, if he scores, I believe we win. Against the Bayern, or is he Dortmund Loney, Nubel. Under steps up and converts. Monaco, miss. And we can go five penalties in a row if we score. Spinozola, injury-prone fullback. Can he get the winner for Rome? Of course he does. Roma win the Conference League, maybe undeservedly, very, very narrowly, against a awesome Monaco side. I haven't seen Monaco play this well in career mode since they had Kylian Mbappe up top. They have even signed, I can't remember the former Lille's manager's name, uh, PSG have actually signed, whoever that was. He used to, he, I believe he managed Monaco as well. Anyway, I'm officially delighted to announce and confirm that we've won 
a treble, not the treble, because it's the Champions League. And we're going to be wrapping up the Roma career series for Season 1 here today with maximum trophies. What a crazy career series. A lot of storylines in this. Uh, I've had an absolute blast recording and, and playing it, and I hope you guys have as well. So if you enjoyed this Roma career series at any point, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you'd like me to replace it with. Maybe I should accept like a job somewhere, maybe the Inter job or... Atalanta job, I haven't decided just yet. I'm thinking more Serie A career modes. Look, the Southampton, there are some Premier League sides I haven't played as. Newcastle. Um, but, I don't know. I just kind of want to save some teams for FIFA 23. You know what I mean? Um, I'd rather not play like a FIFA 23 mod with a new side. That's what I'm sort of thinking. But maybe that's something you guys like to see. I don't know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching crazy career series in the league a lot of fucking draws which is just hilarious um i can't believe we went invincible up until the last match of the season where we get humiliated by juventus it's so so typical so we lose that accolade we did win the league though this conference league was really difficult like we didn't play that good opposition i reckon we would have been quite honestly fucked if we were facing like good teams like if we got caught against a good spanish side or a german side or a frankfurt but we struggled against, like, an Austrian team. Pauk. Fucking Boda Glimt. We got to the final against Monaco, and we only barely got over the line. <laughs> so, if I am to do a Season 2, where we've got Champions League football, let me know in the comments. It just sort of depends on general feedback and suggestions. We would somehow just need to pick up a European football form, um, which would be kind of hard to do maybe we just need more squad depth I don't know biggest win of the season Sassuolo biggest defeat was against Juventus look at this 59 games we played 39 wins 18 draws 22 losses maybe more goals would have helped but they are the stats for the career series into third Rebic did well Pogba second and we've done really quite well in this career series but let me know if you'd like to see season 2 kind of undecided um, but so far, yeah, Cavani, amazing. I really like this team I built. It's actually, like, sick. Cavani, I'd recommend for a career series if you're playing in Europe's top five leagues. Isco is so underrated. I love trying to resurge, uh, have a resurgence of Isco's career because he was so good at Malaga, man, and those early Madrid days, they kind of let him down. Um, I always like to see St. Maximin in a new league performing. Hakim Ziyech as well, amazing at Ajax. A little bit controversial his form at um, Chelsea. But I'd nearly recommend Vertout or Pellegrini if you're doing like a Premier League series. Like I could definitely see Vertout at like an Aston Villa or Pellegrini like a Spurs or something. Um, right backs wise, we were playing with Flore Florenzi, but we dropped him halfway through the season. For Selic, that dude's sick. The Turkish international, former Lille man. And my defense was solid. Spinozola as well, um, solid. Uh, Hugo Lloris, if you do need a goalkeeper in Europe's top five leagues and you're in a little bit of a budget we put him for 15 million best decision I ever fucking made Hugo Lloris probably saved us all those clean sheets um, especially as well like a player of his quality dropping down a tier going to from the Premier League to Italy um, is probably like a sensible move for him to do in real life potentially anyway thanks for watching going to be ending season one here let me know if you'd like to see season two in the comments I am open to doing so because I think this team is a lot of fun I like Roma but maybe we should move on to something else as well. Anyway, stay tuned for more content on the channel. I would like to do a little bit more of FIFA 22 content, but we'll see how we go. FIFA 23 is just around the corner, which I'm really looking forward to. And of course, we're going to hit it. Um, we're going to play FIFA 23 when I can. So anyway, thanks guys for watching. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.